Alright, let's try this one more time. Playing in the Worcester with Enterprise, 18 point captain. We'll just go over the captain build quickly. So PM into Adrenaline Rush, into Superintendent, into IFHG, back into Concealment Expert, and then I elect to go for an anti aircraft build. So manual AA for the next for AA reinforcement. I have one last point that I've yet to spend because I'm an 18 point captain. Uh, the most generic option would be to go into preventive maintenance, but there is something to be said for taking expert loaders, though. That might be somewhat excessive with my current 4.6 second reload. Looking at my modules, we'll go over the consumables first. Of course, everything is fully upgraded because she's a tier 10, so I'm running premium everything, but in order of priority, probably just damage control first, followed by the heal, followed by radar, then hydro, then defensive AA. For upgrades, main battery mod 1, radar upgrade, AA, you could take aiming systems if you wanted to, but the 7% isn't really that noticeable, whereas the extra flak puff will occasionally shred planes, so at least make things a bit more difficult. Uh, then we have propulsion module for the island hopping style really helps your acceleration and deceleration. Uh, and then obviously concealment systems. You could take steering gears if you're opting for an open water build, but that's a bit more of a uh, meme build, shall we say, so I'm staying away from that. And then lastly, <coughs> you should be taking main battery mod 3 in most cases, which decreases the reload. I'm taking AA guns modification 2 because I hate planes. And if we're doing the open water gunboat booster build, we take gunfire control system modification too, in order to kite battleships. But yeah, take reload module, don't be a clown. Anyhow, let's get this show on the road. Hopefully I can get into a carrier game, but you never know. The population is kind of middling at this point in time of the day, so we'll see if we get lucky. Okay, the lighting is pretty bad. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh gosh, so Tears of the Desert Standard Battle. Fantastic. So what are we looking at here? This map isn't as bad as it could be because we still have 16.5 range, but not the greatest. So three duties to hunt, one super cruiser and some other cruisers, and four battleships. Uh, of the battleships, Yamato and Iowa are kind of fine to deal with. And the GK will shatter a lot of HE, but because she's so large and her superstructure is so easy to farm, it doesn't pose as large of a problem as she might otherwise. And where are we spawning? Okay, so we're up north. So north probably occupy this position, is my best guess. It's my immediate assumption. So without the reload module, I'm running a 4.6 second reload, so reload module is a 13% bonus, so roughly I would have, ooh, let's do some quick maths, like around 4.2, 4.1 second reload otherwise. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the gun angles on the booster are actually somewhat poor. If I was a Cleveland at this point, where I'm aiming right now, I'd actually have all my guns unmasked, but at this point I only have two. Well, three now. So, I only really get half my guns to bear at a any decent angling. And even like this, anything with USN bounce angles or um, British bounce angles will definitely be able to penetrate you. You won't get auto bounce angles like this. So in order to fight against a Des Moines, for example, my tier 10 heavy counterpart, you need to angle almost all the way bow in like this, which means I only have two guns. So this is the main weakness of the booster. Poor firing angles. Just show a lot of side. I do have good range though, 16.7 as you can see. Stock. Which gives me quite a bit of impressive reach. So we're gonna follow this Fletcher and back him up. Hopefully he might give us a smoke we can use and abuse. But otherwise, we'll have to see. Ah uh, yes, I need to turn up my voice message volume. Radio communication effect. I have no idea what this is. Honestly. But 
we'll turn this up so we can get the full glory of Awarida. Oh, okay, there's one. Hmm, so I seem to have patched it out at some point so that it doesn't sound every gun shot. Which is, on one hand, a blessing, but a bit of a pity because I was hoping to be able to, to show off an impressive amount of weeb in the audio. And this Fletcher's like, what are you shooting at? <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, buddy. I'm doing something that's quite beyond your control. So we're pulling up to this island now. So we just have to be aware that if anyone flanks past this island, we're going to be in trouble. Oh, he's smoking for me. Honestly, that's better than half my teammates. And our first target is the Yamato. So I want to remain as angled as possible, so... And I need to adjust my shelling. So, after every shot, I tend to take a look at the minimap and zoom out. Oh, we're setting some fires, nice. Oh, already over angled. And when I say over, I just mean masked my guns. Oh, this gearing's in a just a lot of trouble. We're gonna focus down that gearing. Okay, we're pretty safe here. This guy is so cocked. Oh, Varida! Oh, under leading. I am a bit unused to these USN shells, I'll admit. It's also turning, so I need to adjust my aim a little bit. Oh, I oh, didn't kill him. Ah, well, now it is courtesy my poor aim. In that case, I will pop my Hydro. Yep. He torched. If anyone with half a brain would have known he torched. And once I was in cover, I was safe. So, Hydro pop not necessary. But, better to be safe, right? It's more for my teammates behind me, like uh, this monkey over here, this Alaska. So he can dodge, hopefully. And if he doesn't dodge, well... He's a big boat. And because I'm so flexible, I can actually take a look around because of my good characters after every salvo without really disrupting my aim point. Nope, oh, he got hit. What an idiot. Oh, I'm detected now. Smoke is fading. So I'm guessing... Well, it's hard to say. I'm guessing it's because of the gun angles over here on this side. And hopefully that's not too disconcerting. I need to start moving now. The Yamato definitely is firing. Oh, fuck. He's firing at me already. Not too happy about having set him on fire sometimes. Fortunately for me, his aim is poor. Definitely could have gotten punished there. So do as I say, not as I do. Okay, that, that guy's also looking at me. Probably gonna need to go dark here. I can push up because I saw the Yamato pushing up. my heal in case and of course I had to turn away so I'm in trouble now so the gearing is obviously spotting me Oh, I wish I could like control ping it, ping the timer for my teammates. So I'm suddenly unspotted, which tells me that he probably moved behind that rock. He's a Des Moines there, but I can't see. I'm open water firing him, so that means that hearing is definitely in cover. Nice. Firing with the mini. Firing with the mini map. Oh, what the? Okay, the torps tell me he went over here. So he traversed back, torped over there. 
moving back towards its cap. The rearward firing angles, however, are actually quite good. Most uh, most ships have better forward firing arcs than rearward firing arcs, but these are not bad. So we'll see if we can do anything here. We've accumulated quite a bit of damage, but uh, outside of the Fletcher that helped us out, which who has a brain, it seems like our the rest of our DDs are in a spot of trouble. I'm trying to see if I can give him some information. Yep, as expected, the gearing was in radar range. You see to adjust my camera angles. Doesn't matter if I get the kill or not. Just about killing the gearing. Excellent. Good shot, GK. Good shot. Ooh, good thing I move forward too. Everyone loves shooting whiskers. So that Des Moines is going to give me problems because he's radaring me. And I'm currently trying to maneuver because I nosed myself into the rock. Try not to nose in unless you have to, because it makes getting off of the rock somewhat difficult. Fortunately for me that Alaska that I was taking pot shots at this earlier seems to have displaced, but still a pretty dangerous position. I'm completely blind. Can't see what's radaring me. I need vision. I want to fight that Des Moines. I need to angle against him. Nothing in range except the Yamato that we burned earlier. Or at least I think it's the Yamato. There's only one here, so let's assume it's him. My team's really not doing that much. Somehow some of the more stealthy ships on my team have managed to die. Don't have gunshots on um, that Hindi yet. And he's turning in. No shot. That guy's out of range. is bad. I need an angle. So I'm using the Fletcher's smoke. Oh, I was using the Fletcher's smoke, but now the um, enemy Fletcher. Or maybe, yeah, I think it's the enemy Fletcher is spotting me when I fire. Oh no, he's out of range. Okay, I'm not actually sure why I'm spotted. But anyway, in any case, this Alaska is extremely dangerous for me to deal with. He did eat a torp just now, and he's flooding. So even though I'm shooting him, I can't forget that there's a bunch of idiots over there. I can't tell if I'm burning that fire. Might be a visual glitch, because he still has the flood going, so it's hard for me to imagine that he put it out. It seems to be burning, even though I couldn't actually see one. Des Moines over there, but there's also another Des Moines behind him, which is really bad for me, because I can't push out. That's one of the limitations of the booster. I need information. So I'm gonna radar. Another limitation is gun angles. As you can see here, kind of limited when I'm going completely kind of reverse. Okay, Hindenburg is not able to shoot me yet. Okay, good, he died. Still not sure what's spotting me. One of the GDs is around, but in my firing range, but not in radar range. My Izumo is pushing to Des Moines. Oh, fucking hell. The BB took a pot shot at me. This position is extremely dangerous. Those two Des Moines are in cover. I need to make something happen. I'm gonna switch to AP and try and catch that guy off guard with just my front guns. Problem is, he might punish me for it. But I don't really have a choice. I don't really have vision either. I wanna creep forward, but there's a very high chance that I might get punished. Still, we need to do something. The points are ticking.
Did he go forward? I can't tell, he might have missed him. Oh, we're radared. That is bad. Because he's close, for sure. That we're not targeted is interesting. We'll switch back. Fire on that Fletcher. Need to stay angled. I'm not able to do anything here. I'm so blind. Those guys are really outgunned too. I'm gonna pop Hydro for information. I don't know what's happening. Or what's targeting me. No one's shooting me. So I have HE loaded, but I'm ready to switch over. Cool. BB's over there, shooting me apparently. Oh, I guess I'll escort this Reap up. Like, I need him to tank for me, versus those Des Moines. Since they were last over there on that angle, I gotta turn my guns now. My radar's ready in 5, but I only have one charge left, so I might need it. Although I know both GDs are there. Our only real shot at winning this game is... So, he beats me in the 1v1, for sure, if he angles properly. So, we're losing really badly right now, but we need to make something happen. So we're gonna take risks, cause sometimes you gotta do that. So I'm gonna come alongside him. handling there. I also beached myself. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on I don't know what. Okay, there. Managed to get unstuck. Oh, okay. A bit of a short brawl. And we're the only ones alive. And I can't really stop them. I can't stop them from capping personally, so all we can do is try and deal more damage. What the heck is- oh, it's ping. Okay, I don't know if the recording caught that, but I froze there, and that was ping. Oh, we're gonna have to go back and fight them. So I should be a prime target for all the BBs. Shooting open water like this, not advisable. Look how much broadside I have to give. I will, will easily punish me if he touches me. I'm fortunate enough to have his shots over penetrate there, two over pens. But someone else is looking at me. I have to remember that I have multiple people to worry about. Always pay attention to your minimap. This St. Louis is also threatening. I got another fire, so I'm just gonna move on. Try and take out the St. Louis, who's a threat to my BBs. My BBs can angle against BBAP, but they cannot angle against HE. So, I take out the highest DPM threat. I know the Iowa is still looking at me, but I need to try and deal what damage I can. I'm playing with my speed, moving backwards and forwards. Okay. To try and resist damage. He put out the fires that I got on him earlier. Confederate. It's kind of irrelevant though. Can't win. Okay, he fired. So this is the most dangerous point. I need to make my turn now. This is where the propulsion module comes into play. If he if he manages to fire before I complete my turn, I'm obviously gonna get hugely punished. Oh, I turned off my fire visuals or something. 
seem to be very hard to see. Or maybe he's not running fire prevention, so I'm used to seeing that, that big raging infernal. But anyway, we're gonna melt him down for DPM. Huh, we're losing. I need a reset. That is not what I wanted. Q Lincoln Park music, okay. Ugh, I need to hit the BB. I don't have the range. Maybe the Yamato has some cap points on him. <laughs> Gonna try <laughs> and get them to leave the cap. <laughs> Not that it's gonna happen. Ah, sometimes you try hard and you still lose. Can you do? I can't decap the destroyers. The game's just out of my hands, and that's that. Even with the Grey Ghost Enterprise consoling me, we could not win the game. So how did it go? We just missions, 278 shell hits. Should be a lot more, um, if you recall. There we had that early engagement versus the Girion, where we were unable to finish the kill until later. So better accuracy there would have rewarded me, obviously. Three in caps, one actual kill, eleven fires, six citadels, that's all from the Des Moines. In the brawl, one D cap. Uh, obviously the team would have been in the middle of the pack, so not spectacular. Most of this damage is versus BBs after all. Like a lot of it is the Iowa. I believe, yeah, fifty K on the Iowa. And then another fifty six K fire damage on that first Yamato that we burned down several times. Thirty three K on the Des Moines. We took some damage, as you can see. Uh, kind of a mix here. Like, you take a lot of damage from AP and HE, but mostly the AP damage, really. And then if you look at our damage here, really just raw HE damage. Like, yes, we do have a Witherer here in this game, but... If I were shooting at other kinds of targets, where the fire damage is take for less, i.e. not battleships, then more of my damage would be contributed. Uh, and then we're running not premium time right now, but we do have a perma camo, so fortunately we're able to make a credit. Um, make a profit, sorry. But as you can see, all the consumables ends up adding up to quite a bit. Fortunately, we have the minus 60% service costs, but still expensive. And that's that. <sighs> Pity, but you can't win them all. Rooster gameplay. Defeats. Rough game, rough game.